use idiomotor responding. So idiomotor responding is automatic movements. So it could be that you use self-hypnosis and you ask yourself questions and you ask your fingers to say yes and no, for example. So that's a yes finger, that's a no finger. You ask your fingers to twitch to give the answers and then you communicate with your fingers essentially. Again, therapists can do that in hypnosis with clients without using it self-hypnosis, but that's a good self-hypnotic technique that you can do. You can do the same idiomotor techniques using a pendulum, so you can have someone holding a pendulum and you can say, okay, it'll swing backwards and forwards to say yes, left and right to say no, round in circles to say I don't know. And then you, you, have, you ask questions of yourself and it will give your answers. Now I've used that, the first time I ever used a pendulum was, I think I was about 11 or 12 and I was on a murder mystery weekend with, I think it was the Scouts or something. And we had about a dozen suspects and the first murder had happened. And so I uh, got a pendulum and held it over each photo thinking, okay, I bet that if I've had all the evidence presented to me, my unconscious mind probably has analysed the evidence and knows who the murderer is, even though I don't consciously know who it is. If, the, if there's enough evidence, my unconscious will probably have figured it out. So I swung the pe held the pendulum above each photo and said, is it this person? Is it this person? Is it this person? Is it this person? Until the pendulum said, yes, it's that one. And it was correct. So my unconscious had obviously picked up on who had done the murder even though only one murder had happened and I just needed that signal from my unconscious to tell my conscious mind the answer. So you can use a pendulum for idiomotor responses or finger signals. There are other things you can do as well but they're the two best ones to use.